my name is Wayne Kirk. I'm the Crop Input Retail Manager at the uh, Nesbitt Cargill. Today I'm going to share a farm hack with you. The farm hack I'm going to share today is around uh, chemical storage over the winter. That's a really broad question, but a very common question, especially uh, spring and fall of each year. Uh, some of the products that can freeze are glyphosates. Glyphosates can be frozen. Some products that cannot freeze are Liberty. Liberty cannot freeze. The key part on that though that's really important is to look at the, the label and the product guide of each applicable product and on there will be the storage information. It will also say in there some of the details around what happens if that product is frozen. The priority usage of any and all products that have froze or spent the winter outside, it's important again reference the label. Some products such as Axial is simply shaking back into solution, you'd be able to tell it in the jug of the container and also continue agitation while it's in the sprayer. There are multiple reasons why it's important to store your chemical products properly. Quite often if they do freeze, what freezes is the active ingredient of the product, which is the part that will control the weeds you're aiming for. So the primary reason to store it properly is to keep the efficacy of that product. There are important steps to take prior to using any product that has been stored outside or is frozen. There is been on the product and the size of the product's container. Again, please consult the label. In this scenario, I'm going to use this jug of Curtail M as an example. It was kept in heated storage, therefore it's not frozen but the principles remain the same. So you'll take the container and you'll invert it. Then what you'll do is you'll see how much product has settled at, the, at what was the bottom and now the top. So then you'll continue to shake. Predominantly that is the active ingredient. So put, you'll continue to shake until that product liquefies, all falls off the top here and becomes one solid liquid. Key steps with handling product after storage and prior to use. It really varies on the uh, freezeability of the product and also the size of the product. Our best practice is to, uh, for a jug to agitate and shake it aggressively, you'll see the uh, active ingredients settle out and you'll be able to see them move. For larger containers, what I encourage is warm everything up, either with sunlight or in a warm uh, building, and then also continue the agitation while you mix it in your spray tank.